Moving on to the last of our three part video series on the 10 easiest mistakes when trying to lose weight. We come to number 8 on our list. Not prioritising sleep. But first, as always, please take note of our disclaimer. This definitely won't be the first time you've heard someone speaking on the benefits of sleep. It's vital not only because it helps the brain and body recover so you can tackle the following day with optimal energy, but also because it improves health through better blood pressure, mental well-being and insulin sensitivity. However, when it comes to weight in particular, there are several reasons why it's worth working on. The first is that inadequate sleep leads to a dysregulation of hormones that impact diet, such as the main two leptin, aka the satiety hormone, and ghrelin, the appetite hormone, but also human growth hormone and cortisol. The second is for the simple reason that more hours spent awake will equal more opportunities to snack. Number three is because poor sleep leads to less sharp cognitive ability the following day, which means your decisions on meals and snacks will be less good than usual. Lastly, it will also cause you to be more tired the following day, which will result in you being more sedentary than you'd usually be, resulting in you expending fewer calories on top of increasing calorie intake. Moreover, we'll now learn how not drinking enough water limits weight loss. This is because most notably, water is an excellent substitute for alternative drinks with a high calorie content, which also have a lot of added sugar that can contribute to appetite later on. Research has also shown that water intake increases the number of calories your metabolism burns daily. This happens because the body needs to expend energy to bring the temperature of the water we consume up to that of our body temperature, aka water-induced thermogenesis. Research suggests that a pint of water can increase someone's resting metabolism by as much as one third for an hour. What's more, the brain can often misinterpret feelings of thirst for feelings of hunger. Consequently, by drinking a cup or two of water around 20 minutes before sitting down at a meal, you can make wiser decisions about what ends up on your plate and better control how much of it you're having. So how much water should that be? You may have heard the 8x8 recommendation which refers to drinking 8 cups of 8 ounces of water daily. But this is actually excessive and stems from a misinterpretation of a 1945 study conducted by the US Food and Nutrition Board. Rather, the Mayo Clinic recommends just aiming for a cup of water with each meal and before, during and after exercise. But this is generally speaking for the average healthy adult. Check this with your doctor if you have other health issues to consider. On a quick side note, if you want to undertake our evidence-based and results-backed personalized Plato weight management program, please click the link in the top right-hand corner of the video or follow the link in the description. Lastly, we come to number 10 on our list of the easiest mistakes to make while losing weight and how to avoid them. Not working on stress relief strategies. This is because stress secretes more appetite-stimulating hormone cortisol into your bloodstream. Indeed, high levels of immediate stress suppress appetite due to the fight or flight response, where adrenaline reduces hunger. But day by day, while you're in your rest and digest state, which most of us are for the majority of our time, chronic stress will lead you to be more hungry more often, due to heightened cortisol levels in your blood. Not only that, but a flowchart by Kialti Glazer shows how stress can turn into a vicious cycle with inflammation making healthy dietary choices that much more difficult. But on the plus side, that means that by working on things to help stress, we can reduce inflammation and thus facilitate further stress reduction. So here are our top 10 tips on how to alleviate stress. Number one is to get more physically active by targeting between 150 and 300 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity each week. Number two is to breed with your diaphragm more also called belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing, since it will lead you to be more in the rest and digest state and less in the fight or flight. Number three is to improve your sleep duration to eight hours nightly. Number four is not to overdo it by alcohol and steer clear of tobacco and substance use altogether, as these negatively impact chemical balance and processes in your brain, which go on to hamper one's mental health. Number five is to do more relaxing things more often, such as meditating, reading, listening to music and yoga. 
Number six is to speak more about your problems as this will decrease the impact of everyday hassles and frustrations. Number seven is to start requesting help if you aren't already doing so, as it will lessen workloads and not lead tasks to be as stressful as they can get. Number eight is to refuse to do things that negatively and unnecessarily impinge upon your stress levels regularly. Negotiating for yourself as much as for other people will reduce your workload day to day. Lastly, number nine is to write down what's on your mind daily since it'll let you point out what factors are contributing to stress that are under your control and therefore enable you to fix them. Have you any other things that cause people to mess things up with their weight, commonly to add? We'd love to hear from you in the comment section down below. Additionally, if you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. So that has been our video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.